Hello everybody. For those of you watching in the United States, happy Independence Day. And Greg, thanks for this wood. Very appropriate. That piece of brass is a pen barrel for a Mesa style pen kit. What I'm going to do is cut the end off of this gorgeous piece of wood and make 16 very patriotic pen blanks. And they turned out really nice. So what I'm going to do is take you through the process of making some patriotic pens. The process is going to be a little bit different this time because, you know, America. I was pretty careful with the shavings and even the uh, the sanding dust from these pens because, well, the shavings are so beautiful. Here's a close-up. Yeah, I'll be using those again. When I get a smooth pen barrel like this one, nice and shiny, I like to rough it up a little bit with 80 grit sandpaper and that helps the CA glue adhere much better. How sharp is your axe?
I knew my axe was sharp, but I wasn't really sure what to expect. But I got to tell you, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm not going to do any bowls with it, but uh, it's a pretty good skew. Council tools. Not too shabby. Jason Fenley made some gorgeous pens and sent them to me. That one right there, in particular, I love them both, but you know he's tugging at my heartstrings with that Marine Corps pen right there. Jason, I just can't thank you enough. So, real quick, with an actual skew chisel, I'll knock this down in about two minutes. I had it turning at about 1500 RPMs and then slowed it down to about 600 uh, for sanding. And at this stage I'll sand it up to 500 grit. This is medium CA glue and I'm going to apply at least 10 coats of this to each pen blank. It's a little rough, but it gives it a really nice thick coat that I can wet sand down to a nice thick glass-like finish. And to do so, I start out with 500 grit and then 1000, and then I move into the micro mesh uh, sandpapers, which are the different colors you're seeing there, and they go all the way up to 12,000 grit. And then I'll follow up with some micro crystalline polish. That's Renaissance wax. That's what I like to use on my pens. And you'll see at the end of the video, it's nice and shiny. That's a good look right there. And here's a, a little bit sped up version of how to put this pen together. Very easy. Very user friendly. Easy to change out the ink cartridge. Easy to operate. Well, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Stay safe. Thanks so much for watching. God bless and Semper Fi.